Nicole, we're back, and this is the segment we're in, and we're rushing forward to right here where the TV we all takes place. You can get rid of that, Jimmy. Thanks. Hey, what are you doing? Someone has to rebuild Puppet City. Ah, I see. Okay. Anyway, in the last segments, we were talking about how the optic box, the uh, optic box defines the on-camera space right here, and how by putting four optic boxes on a turntable, you're able to make the X box, and how filling in these makes the whole thing into the TV wheel. But one of our biggest discoveries was beyond this space, the camera shoots through here into an area we called the deep focus zone. And we were able to come up with some pretty neat in-camera optical effects. Anyway, here's some footage from the Xbox that shows a segment we call Japanese Miniature Golf. Bet you a scatty bar, you can't put it in. <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! Ah! All right, you kind of get the point. Anyway, the test was so successful that we decided to build a whole miniature golf course in the TV wheel, which you'll see in a sec. That is just fantastic, Joel. And now, let's hear from our project group leader, Rich White. But I'd like to be frank for a second. What is all this stuff about 32-foot turntables? On-camera space? No post-production? I mean, what is that? I've never heard of a show that didn't have post-production. That's okay. But if I may paraphrase Donna, what are you, crazy? No post-production? Why? For presence. Presence? Yeah, you know, presence, that liveness, that kind of just made feeling. You know, TV with whole grain goodness, man. But uh, what if someone makes a mistake? It gets on the tape. Guys, I'm just getting more and more nervous about this. Can't you just add a little post-production, please? Well, actually, uh, the Xbox you're about to see does have like about a second of post-production. I'm sure we're all very relieved. What is it? Well, actually, uh, the, the TV wheel was originally made for HBO, which has some different rules about language, so we had to beep a word out. Well, I'm sorry to hear you've had a production that uses coarse language, but I'm happy to hear you're using post-production to cover it all up. Thanks. Uh, this is how a traditional production works. You see, we've got about three cameras taping this fella here. It goes into the edit bay where they decide on that, put, run it through graphics, music, sound. Sometimes they've even put in laugh track, and then it goes on tape and then gets into your TV. However, with the TV wheel, that's all different. All you have is one line that goes into a tape deck, and from the tape deck into your TV. It's that simple. Totally bypassing the entire post-production process. Except for one beep. Exactly. I'm here. Hi, everybody. It looks like I finally got the puppets calmed down, and it's time to watch the TV wheel. Thanks for hanging with us. Now, the TV wheel was done with 56 people all working together to make it under HBO's time limit of 29 minutes and 30 seconds. If you got a stopwatch at home, you just might want to time us and see if we made it. Here's the TV wheel. <laughs> 